Today I'm going to tell you about an AI software that can literally change your life. Imagine being able to create websites, mobile apps, machine learning models and data science projects in just a few clicks without any coding knowledge. Yes, you heard it right. No coding skills are needed. Just type in your requirements and your project is ready in just a few seconds. Consider it as if I has been integrated into the VS code. Now listen to the interesting thing. In this software you can not only create a project but can also fix the boxes and air in real time. Not only this, it is a one-stop solution, but using this software is so simple that even a child can use it to create a website or a mobile application. What I mean is, the technology of the future is now in your hands. In today's video, I will show you step by step how to install this software and how to use it to convert your project ideas into a real project. So stay tuned because Today's information will take your career and creativity to a whole new level. Let's head over to the screen and start some mind-blowing action on my laptop screen. Now let's understand what this AI software is and how it works. I'll explain it to you in the simplest language possible. Imagine a code editor with AI like VS Code with GPT models. This AI generates and fixes code directly. No copy pasting needed. Let's install it. Search Vinsight AI, visit the first site and download for Windows. Open Vinsight AI similar to VS Code. To start projects, I'll show you how to create a portfolio website and a mobile app. Import your folder, customize settings and click the blue icon to enter your project prompt. Choose an AI model like ChatGPT4 or Cloud 3.5. You can also upload UI images. Let's create a portfolio by typing make a good look portfolio what I mean is just like we generate code in chat GPT we have to copy and paste it but with this AI software you won't have to do anything like that the AI will be right there and your code will remain on the side it will create your files and analyze all your files to provide the right code I know this might sound a bit complicated so let's go straight to the laptop screen and I'll show you step by step how to install and download the software so let's open our browser and search for Vinsight AI. After that, you need to go to the first website that appears, which is the Vinsight Editor website. Once the website opens, you'll see a download button in the corner. Just click on that and we'll download it for Windows. This will start the download of our code editor. I've already downloaded and installed the setup file. So now let's go straight to the software. When you open the Vinsight AI software for the first time, you'll see a user interface that looks something like this, which is quite similar to VS Code. So let's create a new project. And I will first show you how to create a portfolio website. After that, we will also create a mobile application using this software. Let's name it new. Now we will import our folder from here. So we have imported our folder. Next. We will go to the profile and click on settings. Here you will find a lot of settings for this code editor, just like you do in VS Code. You can customize the text or change the styles of the code and you'll find features to run and change shortcuts according to your preferences, just like in VS Code. You'll see all the code features here. Now let's find out how we can create our website with the help of AI. You'll find a blue icon next to the profile. Just click on that. You'll see an interface like this. Now, we need to enter our project prompt here, through which the code editor will create our project. When you click here, you'll see the AI models available. You'll find ChatGPT4 and the premium version, along with Cloud 3.5 Premium. For now, it's premium, but you can use it without any charges. The model below can be used unlimitedly. It's not premium but I would recommend using Cloud 3.5 because it's many times more powerful than GPT. You can also upload your UI images to create your project. So let's first create our portfolio website. I'll type here, make a good looking portfolio. Website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I type simple here for my portfolio website. Make good looking portal, website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. After this, you'll find two options here, try and chat. If you just want to ask a question, you can switch to chat. If you want to write code, select right here. So I want to write code here and 
I've given it a go. Now, after this, we'll click on send and the process of generating our code will start. The first code we'll get will be HTML, followed by CSS and JavaScript. And here, you won't need to create files. They will be created automatically. You just need to run your project. So, as you can see, our automatic HTML file has been created. We just need to click on accept all changes. But you can also make changes to all files in one click. Generate the code. The process summarizes features added to our website. All files, HTML, CSS, JavaScript are created. Click accept all to save them. Run it to view the website. In seconds, a portfolio website is ready. Enhance it with animations, colors, etc. No coding needed. Just know how to give prompts. Enhance it more, then create a Flutter app. Prompt, make it 3D animated with more features for a good UI. Accept all to save HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. Run them to see the portfolio. Enhance with animations using prompts. No coding needed. Create a Flutter app next. Use a prompt for 3D animations. Click send to generate code. Fast forward. Click accept all to apply changes and run HTML to see the 3D effect. Now we will run it and see what our portfolio website looks like. As you can see, in just a few seconds, we have a really nice portfolio website ready. You can enhance it further and add animations, colors or anything else you want in just a few seconds. You don't need any coding knowledge for this. You just need a little bit of knowledge about how to give prompts so you can do it. Let's enhance it a bit more and then we will also create a flutter application to enhance this portfolio website. I've given a second prompt. Please make it. 3D animated looking and add more features and functionalities for a good looking user interface. After this we'll click the send button and the process of generating our code will start. Let me fast forward this for you. So our code generation process is complete. After this we'll click on accept all and the changes we planned will be applied to our code. Then we'll run our HTML code again to see if our website has become 3D animated looking or not. So you can see that now our website has become a bit animated and good looking and some more 3D models have also been added. You can see it above and here. Yes, here you can see that there will be projects which will be animated looking. If images were added here, it would have been even clearer for you to understand. So if you want to create your portfolio or any website, in just a few seconds you can do it this way. Now let's create a Flutter application and see how it goes. I've opened the Flutter application project in this code editor. Now we will convert this app into a to-do app. For this we will open the AI code generator and this time we won't do it in 5 steps. Instead. We will do it in UI. I've already created the UI for my to-do application and here it is. Now we will port this UI to the code generator. So here we will click and select our image. Now here we will give a prompt telling it to convert this image into a working mobile application. So I will type make this image UI. I've given a simple prompt here and selected the cloud 3.5 AI model. After this, we'll click the send button and the UI from our image will be converted into a real Android app. So the code generation process has started and automatically when it completes, our code will also be applied automatically. So our code generation for the app has started. This is a single page application. So we will have just one single code. Let me fast forward this for you. The code generation process is complete. And here we will write and accept all changes. So our code has been successfully generated. Now we will run it or hot reload it. I've clicked on hot reload and we will check the output to see if our app has been created as per our UI. Let's click again. It hasn't happened yet. So you can see that in just a few seconds. Our Flutter application has been created just like the UI in the image. The app's color is slightly different, but it works the same. Let's add a task. Click add to task, name it and it's added. The Now let us see whether it is working or not. So I will add a new task here. I've clicked on 
add to task and now I will type the task here. Let's give it a name and click add. So our task has been added here and you can see it has turned out exactly as we designed in the UI just like a simple copy. This gives you an idea of how powerful it has become. Now you can build it into your APK file and the features above are perfectly working and animated. I didn't do this. It was done automatically. I haven't given any other prompts. It has automatically understood and created such a good user interface along with animations. This shows just how powerful AI is becoming. The purpose of making this video was to show you that you can use AI software other than ChatGPT as I mentioned. You can use this if you have limited knowledge of coding or even if you don't know coding at all. You can simply type prompts to create your complex projects, websites and mobile applications very easily. By the way, this time I will bring a complete playlist where you will find everything from websites, mobile applications, computer applications and whatever else you might want to see on this channel in the future. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more such content. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.